gasp. <laughs> well, that he's a pizza dude, so I'm a pizza dude, so. So, I have started no. the recording. Uh oh. All right. Welcome into another episode. Uh, and I want to start out talking this one. We are talking about vampires today. I should probably get my camera on for yeah, this part yeah, at least. Yeah. And we had the idea to talk about vampires because of Morbius. It's it's relevant. We said it makes sense with what's going on. Well. I will preface everything by saying, none of us watched it. None of <laughs> we watch so much shit when we prepare for this show. <clears throat> knowingly watching someone something that is complete garbage is just <laughs> almost not worth our times. <clears throat> and I know maybe that's not fair, but it's honestly, so <clears throat> yeah, right. No, but definitely not paying a ticket price. For it. Yeah, <laughs> not paying for watching garbage. Yeah, no. It's fair. But, I, yeah. That, yeah. Unless it's fun garbage. I'll just look in the mirror. And, yes, the, it was a, from what I've read and from what I've heard, granted, I like to get my most my own opinion most of the time, but but it seems like it was a joyless bullshit movie. Mediocre rather than so bad it's good. And, yes, it's it's there is a fine line, and check out our YouTube channel. We talked about that line in one of our earliest episodes. I'd have to find really? out exactly which one, but, yeah, we talked about... The difference between something being so bad it's good, as opposed to something being so terrible it's unwatchable. That was one of our earliest episodes. Lamageddon. I have never heard of that. What? I've heard of it. I, it's never one of those that I just have not, minutes. have not tried watching because I know it's going to be so bad that That's it's fair. not worth it. But it okay. feels like a movie that was made by college kids with like trailer park adult actors. Oh, wait, <laughs> well, what? It's, it's so bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, interesting. Uh, and I and I was okay with Velocipaster, so, so <laughs> it was way better. Yeah, I watched Shark Exorcist from beginning to end twice. Oh God! Oh right. no! Why? Is, is that the one? Is that the one with the shark fetish thing? Or <laughs> yes. The, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not trying to go in this direction, <laughs> but you Rob watch it watch yourself. I Just watch it, Rob. That's all we got to say. I, I kind of. I watched it, okay, once I watched it, not knowing what it was, the second time I watched it for the show, all right? Because I remember it being so bad, it was hilarious, but I made the mistake of watching it the second time by myself. It was not oh, no. nearly as fun to watch without three, four other oh, people. Yeah. yeah, you need the, uh... <laughs> the, Some movies you need other the people. commentary. Yeah. 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 You need the banter that makes it watchable, you know? I, I mean, I that's, feel why, like... that's why Halloween Kills was a lot better for us than it was for it's others. true, and it wasn't was... great. But anyway, we were going to talk about vampires. I want to start with that Morbius thing, but I also think it's interesting that apparently Morbius went through hella rewrites, hella reshoots to the point where they basically had to cobble together a movie with what they had. And it took a really long time to produce, so I think it's hilarious that even though it's like a modern pseudo horror movie it still managed to go through all of the pitfalls and shortcomings of a lot of the horror franchises that we talk about on this show in the first place and i think it's hilarious so i just thought it was worth mentioning oh it's what's his name it's on daddy oh boy we talked about him too <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to start off talking about it like that because i think it's interesting and you know, it makes me think of, you know, obviously, yeah. Hellraiser. He lost me? What the fuck is he doing? Anyway, um, so I thought I would open the floor with that. And yes, I was going to watch it. I was going to do it through questionable means, and I decided against it. I decided it was just not worth the two plus hours of my time. It's not worth stealing. <laughs> I never stole anything, Rob, and I, how dare you implicate or, cons or <laughs> assume I ever did it. Absolutely will again. Stop moving. <laughs> absolutely will again. Well, I need to heal you. Let me heal you first. That's no, my I challenge. need it too. Oh, I bitch. also have the challenge. <laughs> you bastard. Anybody have an eye on me or no? But No, he stopped chasing us. Anyway, time. that being said, uh, preparing for this show, vampires are interesting because we've talked about them when we talk about other... More zombies. general horror movies like zombies, in that there are different types uh -oh. of, of zombie yeah. movies and different types of or vampire movies and different types of vampire situations. So, what did you guys watch and what do you guys want to bring up first when we go about this? I have no plan here. Oh, uh, yeah. Most of the movies I actually watched wound up being so terrible that I'm focusing more on movies that I've watched in the more recent past that were good. Uh. 
But in terms of yeah. like, oh sorry, go ahead, Sky. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I was just agreeing. Like, okay. I feel like just to start the whole thing off, I feel like vampire movies tend to either just be okay or bad. Well, oh no, there are some good ones. Yeah. But with vampire movies, and this is maybe how we can start off, they tend to be, they tend to lean at least in some mainstream movies. In the like erotic thriller sort of vampires, you know? Oh god. Even, like action y type stuff, like Blade. As long as they're not moving. fucking Twilight. <laughs> well, no, but, that's not a vampire. That's a fair But movie. I'm talking about horror specific. Well, and there are some surprisingly good ones that fall within that, because I hate erotic type movies, but there Ooh. are some vampire movies that fall into that that are actually some I really feel good like movies. That's always like just Hunger is one I always bring up. Shit! Oh, oh I'm sorry. You scared the shit oh. out of me. The hunger is the it brings up a question movie right away, because everybody probably sees it and thinks it. So I am legend. I think uh -oh. we brought it up in the uh, it, it, the in the story is about movie too. vampires, yeah. even though the Will yeah, Smith yeah, version was basically zombies. That's yeah. what I thought. Is like I felt like they were supposed to be zombies in the movie. They're supposed to be, yeah, kind of, but because zombies were trendy at the time. But the, they're supposed to be vampires, like in yeah, the story. Right. The Vincent Price version was creepier, I think. The yeah, yeah, the, the last man on Earth. Or... Yeah, thank you, that's what it's called. Yeah, but I don't even know if that's horror, and it's only because I actually find that there's a lot of uh, vampire movies that actually tend to lean towards action. I mean, Blade is obviously... Blade, Blade, obviously, obviously Blade yeah. Underworld. Fucking awesome. And uh, John Carpenter's Vampires is a lot more Oh yeah, action yeah, horror. horror. Although uh, it's, it's 20 oh, years it. vampires, technically. Yeah. If you want to look at it the way that we were looking at it, technically they're more infected, so they're more vampires than zombies by the definition we came up with in our zombies episode. Yeah. Exactly. I can see and, that. I mean... Which, it's action. It's mostly an action movie. That's fair, but um, what kinds of problems are the kinds of problems that make a, a vampire movie a vampire movie? Um... And I think that it's similar to zombies in that it has to do with infection. Sometimes. But, yeah, I mean, it can be. I'm obviously not trying to overarch everything. But I'm saying when the story comes to infection, bitch, <laughs> it's more about coming to grips with the change as opposed to trying to do something about it, I feel like. Mm. And I don't know. That's, that's one of the distinct ways that a vampire dis is distinguished from a zombie. Yeah, there, there is, there is, it's, it's definitely a different kind of change because when you're becoming a zombie, you're, it's it kind of depends on the vampire mythos too. But when yeah. you're becoming a zombie, you're basically losing your humanity, not, not just your humanity, but you're losing your ability to even be a thinking, breathe, being. thinking being. Oh god! Oh no! no. Living under oh, any, so any close. Like, yeah, that was really close. Good definition. Oh my God. You're not even really an undead, as in kind of living dead thing, because you're basically not living as a zombie. Whereas vampires are usually you're you become a monster, but you're yeah, you're technically you dead. It. You 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 have you're sentient. You're um, <laughs> you're you have to, you have to live with the stuff you're gonna do. Like vampire stories are often about guilt. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, Coming to terms with it because because they they just they're killing machines. But vampires, you have to come to terms with the fact that you must kill or you just die. Well, exactly. Because and you know, I'm gonna keep going back to this because they are like weirdly similar at their core. They share with zombies that they have to feed in order to survive. Zombies were basically based on vampires when it comes down to it. Actually, almost everything is kind of based on vampires because werewolves didn't originally transmit by bite either. They they basically just made them more like vampires. True. It's interesting. Um, well, <laughs> one of the movies I watch in preparation of this, just because I like it, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. I'm not even sure. I wouldn't even really qualify it as a horror movie. But uh, Queen of the Damned is a very... It's one of the first movies I think of when okay. I think of vampires. I never actually saw that. I did see interview with him. Yes. I never saw Queen of the Damned. He, it is more or less an erotic thriller. 
at its uh-huh. core, like it really is. It's, it's a it's a love story. It's a film that it does focus on like the goriness of what they need to do to survive, and it's about like magic and rituals, which is something oh, nice. something that also vampires kind of go into a little bit more than zombies on a more regular basis. But yeah, um, in terms of Lady or Queen of the Damned, it was about betrayal, and it was about it was about more or less like accepting and and being what you are and that is a vampire more or less and that's kind of where i'm drawing a lot of my conclusions just at the start of this conversation and that's why i bring up you know the idea of erotic thriller being like a really common sort of it's not a trope that's not the right word for it but just a common theme to these kinds of movies and those were the ones that i i tended to really watch when i found them when I was prepping. <laughs> Rob, you said you went in a different direction. Well, I I mean, I initially tried to watch new movies that I hadn't seen before, but so many of them were so bad. Um, there is a movie called Thirst that I enjoyed a lot that was kind of interesting. <laughs> that one gets into the other side of vampires that isn't so much disease-based. It does get a little bit into the infection type stuff, but it's more about the idea of being an immortal and what that does to fuck people up. Because vampires are often, like, the, the idea of immortality being either corrupting or just miserable. Yes, exactly. Basically, yeah, that is where they staunchly oppose, like, or they're different from, like, what a normal human reaction is, is immortality is seen, like, they've done it, and it's like a bore. Um, yeah. Well, well, Thirst is a, Thirst is a horror comedy um, where it's about this guy this vampire who's an, an old vampire who's gay um and he he's so he's a very lonely Damn it. and he ends up he ends up like at one point allowing himself to get beaten up by some people that he was toying with just so he could feel it um because he's because he's getting to that point of boredom and this woman happens to whose life is kind of falling apart around her because her brother just died and she's being blamed for it and stuff ends up like s- sort of like sticking up for him and as a result he's decided he's basically wants this to become his friend basically like this is his only friend so he tries to like help her out and ends up doing more to make her life more fucked up um including trying to bringing back her dead brother as a vampire and that leads to very bad stuff uh, coming. um and and it's it's a really fucked up movie with a lot of gore and humor in it but it has this serious side to it which is more about um that sort of loneliness and boredom that comes nice from guy. being immortal oh, <laughs> that was nice scott <laughs> and i do think that that's interesting um that wasn't something that I mean, it's brought up in passing, but it's never really been like what the film's been about in terms of the ones that I watched. So, I mean, that's an interesting take because they are, oh, yeah, the right one. Damn. Well, that's that's also kind of one of the themes in the hunger because the hunger doesn't really focus much on the virus sense of it either. They've kind of got a non-traditional vampire thing going in that one where it's not that the vampires don't work the same way quite, and it's more about just. Well, well, I guess close. it is more about the hunger than anything. It is called hunger, but it it gets into like how kind of horrifying it is for the victims, I guess, who become kind of immortal, but in a less contr- but they can't control their fate because they didn't choose it. Well, it's it's a very weird how the, how it works in that movie. It's it's strange. Like the vampire is just one person. Her her victims don't become vampires. They become kind of immortal though, and they need they need um to continue being fed in order to to um keep in any kind of good shape but eventually when she's done with them she puts them away in a room and they actually immortally just live as these mummies that can't do shit oh jeez, it's really weird it's, it's a very of, weird movie uh, is it kind of how like what dracula did to renfield 
Like he had an old, old trance kind of, and he just, as long as Redfield like ate and whatnot, he's able to survive. Or well, it's you know. something similar to that. They are kind of like the Renfields of it. Like David Bowie fills this role in like the, in the first part of it, where he's her first, he's her lover at the beginning of it, which means that she, he's kind of stuck in this position where, where like he's kind, he's in, he stays young and everything because of her, um, giving him some of the blood and everything, but then. Um, eventually she's done with him, oh. and he gets kind of put away, and yeah, I mean, it comes to me, and just can't, it, it's really fun, it's hard to explain. Oh, no! to see to understand just how fucked up it is. Alright, so, oh god, in terms of like a, but it focuses more so on the victims as opposed to like the vampires themselves. Yeah, in that one, in that one, it's kind of interesting. The main character is actually the new lover of the vampire, and it's about the sort of temptation of the vampire because it is kind of a, a more erotic one. Um, and it's the woman um, who is the main character falls in love with this woman vampire, and, and they and it's her like sort of love story. But but the thing is that a vampire just uses people because it's vampire. So it's true. It, it's um, in that case, I think the vampire is kind of more standing for some kind of toxic, abusive lover, pretty much. <laughs> um, almost uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really odd movie. It's it's gothier than even the crow. <laughs> <laughs> gothier than the crow. It has Bajas in the, in the it has Bajas playing in like the first seconds of the movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, Bill Lugosi's dead place the beginning of that movie. That's how it starts. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Well, what about you, Mr. Mike? What did... Uh, I haven't heard much from you Whoa. today. Uh, so yeah, yeah, sorry. Just Don't apologize. I like that. Um, anyways, no, I mean, I, I've... There's some I've watched, like, a billion times, but, uh, one I watched... Two of them I watched, I watched recently, I haven't seen in a while. I watched... Vampire in Brooklyn, the Eddie Murphy vampire film, <laughs> and then uh, the the one I want to I talked a little bit about this like with Robin Scott earlier, just a little bit because I didn't know about this. But Shadow of the Vampire, that's the one with um, Willem Dafoe as the actor who played who was Max Shrek, who played the original Nosferatu in 1922. But this movie came out in '99 or 2000, and it's about like them a fictional version of them making the movie, and Willem Dafoe is Max Shrek, but Max Shrek's a real vampire. And that's like the only reason why the movie got made and at any cost, because the director was able to get a real vampire to get this actually really scary and whatnot. And it just... Oh, that was a good one, Scott. And oh, it, I ran it, it right was, to him. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were trying to hide. And to me, I thought oh, it was interesting. Was especially, I don't give a shit. Oh. And especially just, just how Willem Dafoe portrays the vampire. It's just creepy and how he twirls his hands and how he speaks and everything. But I kind of like that idea that like... It's a movie of them making a movie of an actual creature that exists that only the director knew existed. Um, holy shit, that noise is annoying. Yeah, is. holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh. oh, somebody said that I moved him so bad. So, but, yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, is there a better, like, I'm not saying that he's the best, but is there a better villain in all of cinema than Willem Dafoe? Uh, I don't know. I mean, recently, no. No, I, I think he's done good with everything he's been in. Uh, from what I saw as, like, a villain slash, like, anti-hero type I wonder. Character. I think just going along with vampires, I think Christopher Lee. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, fair. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. I'll back that up. Yeah, Christopher Lee. He got to play Dracula and many times <laughs> Saruman and Count yeah. Dooku and Count Dooku. That's fair. Was Count Dooku really a bad guy though? He was a puppet. He was just a yeah. He was a terrible person in a bad movie. That's what he was. <laughs> <laughs> he had a kick-ass lightsaber. <laughs> but he was he was Christopher His Lee, was cool. which is what made it cool. <laughs> but the second sure. one, I. Uh... Second one, it was interesting. It was uh, oh yeah, yeah. The weird thing about Shadow of the Vampire is produced by Nicolas Cage's film production. Oh, speaking yeah. of Nicolas Cage, yeah. see, Bring it up. Thank most you. of the time <laughs> when I think of vampire movies, the weird thing is, is like I mostly think of like the weird satirical movies and the comedies, because 
I definitely watched Vampire's Kiss in preparation for this. Hell, oh yes. Good. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of vampire comedies that I that I really like. I was just thinking of this one that I don't think people notice as a vampire movie because it doesn't look like one when you're going through there. It's, there's this recent one called Super Hot. That's Super like a. Hot. It's like if a Clerks movie was made about vampires. Like <laughs> okay. they made that, isn't it called What We Do in the Shadows? Uh, that's oh, more yeah. British comedy, though. That's more British comedy and mockumentary. I'm talking like it's basically like this is basically like if, like the style of like one of those Kevin Smiths just stupid people hanging out kind of comedies, but it's a vampire movie. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's it doesn't look like a vampire movie if you pass by it though. It just looks like a movie about some um, silly teenagers or something that's fair well it's like, yeah, it's a... i mean even when you tell somebody what vampire's kiss is about they you still can't really fully understand or appreciate it until you've <laughs> seen it um and is there i don't think there's anyone on the planet that could have played nick cage's character in that movie and made me enjoy the film other than nicholas cage i mean you could say that about almost any movie nicholas cage <laughs> true in, really that's fair like Which the wicker be... man would anybody yeah. ever watch the wicker man voluntarily no, every... the remake unless it was if not for nicholas cage everybody hates so. it but everybody remembers it because of him so you yeah know. yeah otherwise <laughs> just nobody would even care about that movie existing that's very true I in which too, he's going to be a vampire again pretty soon in Renfield, the movie. Oh, yeah. That's it's true. Just... Can't wait to keep talking about it. Sorry, go ahead. I just love how we can always tie in a Nicolas Cage ridiculous movie with All any of our topics. It just doesn't Nick... matter which one it is. I mean, Nicolas Nick Cage has been in the woods. Nick Cage, if you're <laughs> listening, relevant. Nick, Nick, join our podcast, please. I doubt you're hearing us, but please do. Man, I saw on a, he did a, an AMA on Reddit earlier this week, and mm. he had never heard of Community, and he had never heard, seen uh, Abed's scene with, uh, I'm a sexy cat, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. But that's a real thing, and he had no idea it was, it was real, and I'm bummed out about it. <sighs> that doesn't surprise me. He feels like the kind of person that doesn't pay attention to anything <laughs> yeah he's like i don't watch tv i am tv <laughs> like that's that's fair cage but um, in terms of like comedy though that one is more of a satirical one and it's just you we're gonna see so many different uses of vampires simply because they're they're a literary character that has been around for literally 150 Decades. years 150 Exclusive. years oh, yeah so the versatility of them that's always part of it you know it's just the fact that they've existed for so long and it is like 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 rob was saying it is like the original monster in in a way yeah, yeah pretty much dracula was really the first big superstar movie monster yeah well, it's it also one of those urban legends from god knows how long ago oh, yeah yeah and Dracula was the first horror movie with sound, too. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it the first well, movie Rockers, with sound? It, 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 you know, it might have been the first well known silent horror movie. Exactly. I think it was the first movie with sound. It might be the first one with sound. I know it's the first horror movie with sound, but it might be the first movie with sound. It could be. Don't remember. Um, yeah, I'll have to look I don't it up. remember. But, yeah, we're like, oh, yeah, I don't remember when we were around back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how we're talking about it. I can look up right now. I have no problem. But in, a, in another vampire comedy, which I brought up when Rob was um, when Rob was talking, was I I actually really do like what we do in the shadows. Oh. It's a oh, bit it of a, it is a good one. Yeah, it, it's a bit of an acquired taste because you either love or you hate uh, Tiko Atiti. It's like I, British I like humor for the most part. Well, I love it, British it humor, British. but yeah, me too. British, so yeah. it's it's something that I would probably really like. And the show and it's one of the few yeah. mockumentary type things that I really got into. It's the I'm not show usually into one, those. right? No, there's a movie that pre yeah, predates like the show. Yeah, I've only okay. seen the movie. Well, it's in the same the universe show. as the show. It's they're, they're just a different clan. This the show is in Brooklyn. The movie's in New Zealand or something like that. Ooh, it's Ghost Dick. And also, oh, side sure. note, 
The Jazz Singer was the first movie with sound, 1927. Ah, fuck you, Ghost. Hey, wait, he just he just knocked me down and left me here. What the yep, hell? He, he's after my ass. Because he's a dick. But, Come um, on, Stu. You're right, Rob. I think that I agree with you. I'm not usually a giant fan of the mockumentary style. I The only show that I've ever really enjoyed... American Vandalism. Well, that's that's <laughs> oh, different. Yeah. That's a well, documentary. Know, that's a, it's a that, mockumentary. Well, that, oh, yeah. one's, that one's actually designed to make sort of satirized documentaries, though. Like, but it was so funny. Yeah. yeah, but I was referring to Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah, I love Parks and Rec. It's The Office, but way better. Exactly. That's what I always say. We're going to get hate yeah. for saying that. But... Oh, God. Yeah, the office I, it's not my favorite me way to tell a story, but what we do in the shadows is a wonderful, oh yeah, refreshing way to do it. And if you haven't seen the movie or the show, I highly re recommend them. Scott, you would like the show. I spent years yes. watching TV shows with you. I'm positive you would yeah. like it. <laughs> I was going to say, I, La I kind of figured that would be the case, yeah. but... Lazlo's my new spirit animal, hands down. <laughs> Freaking uh, yeah. Matthew I'm Barry. He wasn't just camping, right? For a ghost face, they but, normally do. Like yeah. I don't know. It is that. I think it's. I felt it was odd that the first things that I thought of when I thought of vampire movies were comedies and satires. Oh, there's is that, a lot of good ones, though. I mean, yeah, there's what, a lot of good vampire comedies. Like what else? What are what are the other vampire um, comedies that you guys like? Well, let me think. I, I I personally like Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat. Oh yeah, with Bruce. That's Campbell. with Bruce Campbell. He's like barely in the movie um, though, which is sad. Yeah, I mean that Thirst movie I brought up is a horror comedy. Right. Um, the wall. Vamp. There's a lot of ones that are hybrids that people don't think of as comedies, but like the. You're Lost running Boys. right at them, Rob. Oh. Yeah, the, Lost the Lost Boys. Boys Fright Night. Oh, the um, Lost oh, Boys is great. Fright Night is a great, great one yes. to bring up. Um, yeah. Because I we have, have the sequel. We've talked about it extensively, like in other shows, in terms of like reboots and remakes and sequels and stuff. Like we've talked about it at length. Um, it is <laughs> get joked on, bitch. Definitely in a different vein than that thirst. Let me heal you. Oh yeah. yeah. In that, um, that one's about like the. The awfulness of immortality, where opposed to like oh, Friday yeah. Night, Lost Boys is the one that's about it, the excitement of being, yeah, being immortal. immortal. Exactly, being immortal. it's it's taking it from a different way. Somebody who doesn't have to be afraid to die, as opposed to somebody who's can longs for it. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. And I think The Lost Boys is another great one. I do not like love that movie. I'm not gonna say I don't like it, but it is not my favorite movie. But. I also recognize it as I, I recognize it for what it is. It's it's definitely one that I can't believe I didn't think of to watch in preparation for this. I'm gonna be straight oh, with yeah. you. It never even occurred to me to watch The Lost Boys, but it seems so obvious now. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny that uh oh shit, I'm saying that uh Kiefer Sutherland is in that as a vampire, and his dad Donald was a vampire hunter in uh, the Buffy movie before way <laughs> before the TV show. Yeah, I found out in research. I didn't. Oh yeah, I forgot about that movie. There was a yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer me. movie. He's coming. Yep. Where's he at? No, like he was coming this way. Well, he's not anymore. If he is, oh yeah, there he right is. Behind there he is. Yep, Let's I go. see him. I'm going Let's this go. way. Fuck that. <laughs> Bitch. Um. You were saying? I don't even remember what I was trying again. to say. Uh, we, we were on Buffy and Keith. Oh, yeah. Playing. just I didn't even know that that movie existed until research really? for this movie as well. Honestly, oh, I liked I a lot better as a show. kid. A lot. Um, oh, I, I remember, I remember Herman's in it. Kiwi Herman being in it, yeah. <laughs> this way, Rob. Let's get this. He shows up in What We Do in the Shadows, the Herman. show. Again, in the same vampire character. Right here, Rob. Where are you? Oh. Oh, there he is. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, I, you know, vampires are not one of my favorite things. I, I, me neither. I read Cirque du Freak growing up. That was like one of my first real introductions to vampires. And I was overall pretty bored with the story. So it was. But right for you guys. There's just so many different, different, um, different ways to do vampires because they've been around so long. So there's so much variety in vampire movies. So there's a lot of shit just like everything else. But then there's some good stuff too, and it's like they're almost can't help but to be good stuff in there with as long as they've been around. Maybe. What the fuck is happening? I have no idea. I'm lagging like a motherfucker. 
I mean, yeah, exactly. And that's what makes them such an interesting topic. And that's not... That's part of the reasons why it was something that I wasn't willing to, like, say, hey, let's try to define vampires. Zombies uh, yeah. was difficult enough, oh, yeah. let the alone... Is impossible. Let, yeah, because vampires have been around for, like I said, 150 years. It's not something well, you can necessarily classify... And I think it gets, it gets interesting when you get into things that are the non-traditional vampires, where you get vampires that are not vampires by normal doing? things. Like, I'm thinking of movies like Sleepwalkers was basically a vampire movie. Um, Life Force. Life Force Space Vampires. That's true. Rabid. Space um, um, he never died. That's a good way of saying He never it. died. He never died was movie. great. I never saw that, actually. Oh, it's um, so good. Even though Is he's that... not technically a vampire. Yeah, he's... he's, he's... Spoiler, he's Kane. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, um, which... If you go by... If you go by, um... Vampire the Masquerade, though, vampires are descended from Kane, so... Oh, that's oh, fair. Yeah. Rob <laughs> dead again. <laughs> I have he's wiggled free th uh, three times tonight, by the way, guys. I love this I've bit. wiggled yeah. free twice today already, and I'm not running boil over. That's fair. Like, oh, I don't I've been know what's going on. I have break uh, break out, and I was near you for one of those, that? so that helped a little bit. Oh yeah, against the oni. Yep, that helped that time, but the other time I, I wasn't near. Because he also couldn't figure out how to get out of the basement. Yep. <clears throat> but anyway. he's here. Oh yeah, I see him. Fuck. Anyway, back to vampires. Uh, I mean, do you guys have a... I think I kind of asked this before, but I think we got off track, so I'm just going to ask it again if we've answered. Do you guys have a preference when it comes to vampire movies? Like, I know we tend to not talk about those... comedic, believe it or not. I, I, I don't think... I don't really... I know we don't really watch the action movies for this show, mm -hmm. but do you guys like the action vampire? Oh, some of them. Some of them. I mean, what's your favorite trope or here. type of I vampire movie, I suppose? He should not be allowed oh, to it. stalk <laughs> you if you're staring at him. I mean, I personally really Did like you know? when they get into, like, the really dark gothic shit. Oh, That's kind of rare. Um, like, things like The Hunger, where they get into some deep, dark stuff. I think one of the more interesting ones that's a hybrid of everything is Near Dark. Which is one of the reasons why I think that's considered one of the best vampire movies, because um, it has a little bit of everything. It's kind of an, it's got the action thing going on. It's got the, it's got some comedy in it, and it's kind of got some darker themes in it. Um, and it's, uh, and it's, I don't know. Have you guys seen that one? Uh, no. Near Dark. Yeah, yeah. It's I on Shutter not. now. Um, <laughs> It, it's it's a it's a real classic. It's got Lance Hendrickson in it playing like the the main head bad guy vampire, and it's this one this one's more about like seeing. Mike, it's you gotta sort, come get me, but I know I, I got stuck because you're so in that here. it focuses on be, on somebody who's just entered into a clan of vampires and is um and is getting apparently used to their, I can't um, reveal their him. rules and everything. Oh. You're done. Oh, um, he's it. just not getting revealed. What the nope. fuck? Nope, and he's after me now. Oh, that was man. weird. Yeah. Sorry, Rob. Go ahead. This... Oh, oh yeah. So so it's along those kind of lines. It's one where it's about a new vampire, who's being introduced into the world of vampires, oh. into this clan of vampires. So it's a mix between the terror from these this head vampires, the ones in his group, and also kind of looking up to them. So they're his friends and his enemies at the same time. Right? And his mentors his almost. Enemies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it it gets to be more and more enemy as time goes by, but uh, but a lot a lot of the stuff cuz I'm a I am a big fan of like the whole Vampire the Masquerade game and everything and, and oh, a he's lot, a lot of, real bad. And that's one of the movies I think most inspires a lot of the stuff that becomes the sort of storytelling for vampires. Now like the um the idea of there being these groups of vampires that have their own sort of like rules for survival and the way they choose their next members. Oh my their victims and everything and... Interesting. It's got a little bit of something for everybody though. It's a little bit a little bit of horror, a little bit of action and a little bit You're of coming for that booty. <laughs> Thanks, I've been, I've been doing some squats lately. 
So it's a mix of the action, the erotic, the... Yeah, yeah, because a lot of it is also, like, part of what draws him into this group of vampires is, of course, he falls in love with the uh, girl vampire. <laughs> it's, uh, Seems, I don't know, Hollywood generic in a yeah, sense, yeah. but... <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of that in it, but it's done good well. To go it, get it has, um, oh, okay. God, who is it who did the soundtrack? Tangerine Dream did the soundtrack. Interesting. Dream. So it's, like so it's very name. synthy. It's it's a very synthy soundtrack. I'm always yeah. down for a synthy soundtrack, <laughs> right? Um, come on, just hold Str on. If man. there's one thing I love Stranger Things for, it's bringing True. back the synthesizer. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. It really Funny. brought back that aesthetic and synth like music for horror. These vampire movies are really big on that too. Oh, I was gonna heal you. There you go. <laughs> He's coming back to you guys now. No, of course he is. 80s what? vampire movies being... I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know. Kind of, a... That was kind of the heyday of, of like a lot of the really... You have like one really spit in vampire movies, because that's when you had Fright Night, Lost Boys, The Hunger was an 80s one, uh, Near Dark. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else? Don't forget Jim Carrey. Vamp. Oh, Vamp, yeah. Yep. Uh, was it? No, that was, no, that was a different movie. Never mind. I was thinking something else. Oh. That's what the thing Oh, we're losing you a little bit, Rob. Oh. Yeah, where'd you go? Yeah, I, th I think uh, vampires went a little downhill in the 90s. Like, I think a lot of things went downhill in the 90s. Yeah. I cannot. That's true. Do things in this game. I, uh, I will say one of the, I believe it was the 90s, one of the ones I remember the most is From Dust Till Dawn, and that threw me off when mm. I first saw it. Because there's not, like, unless you've seen the trailer, I guess, but like nothing in the movie that I saw led to a vampire film. It was just, I recognized George Clooney because I watched the Batman that he was in, and he was just in a shoot em up movie, and they just basically hijacked this RV with this priest and his family, and they go to a bar, and bam, vampires out of nowhere. Yeah. And even on the sequels and pre prequel, I guess the second movie was a prequel. They claim they're not vampires or some type of like vampiric, like serpents or something like that, which is interesting. But it's still a vampire film to me, uh, because they get killed by holy water and stakes on that fun stuff. But that one's like a mix of, it's got some horror elements, but mostly it's just action shoot 'em up type of thriller. Any Quentin Tarantino film you've seen, that's what it is, basically just with a monster. Yeah. Which I like that. I thought that was pretty good. I believe that was the nineties. If I mistake. Oh yeah, it was. Just... <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, now that I think about it, there is another recent movie that's that's of the of the sort of vampire genre where it's about the idea of like the troubles of immortality and the problems of becoming lonely and everything. That I know you've seen, Patrick. Oh yeah. Look the right one in. I mean, yeah, that's true. I, I know that that one's definitely... We've talked about that one as well before, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, well, and it's remake, I guess, Let Me In. I, it seems like pretty much the same movie, so I just, like, let the right one in better. <laughs> they just came out so close together that it's easy to get them mixed up, because aren't they... Yeah. yeah. They're, they are the same movie. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's the American... They had to do an American remake. Right. Nobody would watch subtitles, I guess. Why is he going after me? I have no idea what's like, happening. He is only going after me right now. <laughs> yeah, he, like, found me in the basement and was just like... Oh, <laughs> that was me. ridiculous. <laughs> this is definitely Billy. <laughs> I have found the ultimate looping area, though. I know we're getting off track, but he can literally never get me. What is he going to do? I have, like, so much extra on him. Interesting. It's it, like, you see what I mean, though? Loop? It, it is. Dude, there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, oh that's what he can do about it. <laughs> oh! No! I was like, you sure? He just Damn, right that sucks. You. you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I've seen this movie. Scott, get up, stab him. <laughs> no, it turns out Scott is in on it the whole time. That's the real <laughs> no, Wait, are you Stu, Scott? <laughs> 
I knew you looked like Matthew Lillard just a little bit. I must wiggle. Oh yeah, take me to the basement. Good idea. I'm wiggling free, 100. <laughs> percent well, I guess there's also in in um in the comedy type things there is there is also one of those a vampire movie that fits into like the uh, the rock band comedy thing like um like you know how like there's a whole bunch of horror movies that involve like rock bands pretty much there's this movie called Suck. Mm. Um, there's no way this is anything remotely sexual. Um. Well. Well. In this case, it's more just. What is um, happening? The, the a member of this band ends up becoming a vampire and starts slowly turning everybody else in the band into vampires, while like also causing problems by being a vampire while the band's moving around and it's it's kind of funny because they treat it sort of like it's just one of those terrible problems with the band where it's just like god damn it <laughs> we gotta oh, kick her out of the band because she's a vampire kind of I'm thing i'm so confused what's going um, on <laughs> they somehow got a lot of like um big stars involved in that movie though alice cooper was in it playing it. basically the devil um <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> and um, I, there were a few other people in it. I can't remember that that, were, that that are like sort of like hard rock um, metal kind of people. Wasn't there like in a moment Tom Hiddleston? He was a rock and roll vampire and the chick from the Matrix. I can't think of her name. Oh, not Matrix. Um, no, no, she was the Matrix. She was in the Matrix. She was yeah, she was in a lot of things with Keanu Reeves. I can't remember her name. She was the ancient one in Doctor Strange. Ah, oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, Tilda I Swinton. I'm knowing who the is. her name? Are in, Tilda um, Swinton. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same movie or is that a different one? I don't know. Let me look it up. Um, <clears throat> okay. I should give it to you like this. Is it Let's try. <laughs> Wikipedia? Yeah, because that's usually. Research usually time! Usually. Yeah! yeah. I feel like a segment. Oh, God! Yeah, I could have gotten the disambiguation. I'll take my shirt off and dance around a little. That's what I'll do during <laughs> research time. There we go. I'll start crying. Start crying. Well, what the hell? Why doesn't this movie come up? Jesus Christ. Oh, nope, here it is. God, okay. I um, hope he ends up having so, uh, That would be so I don't funny. know. It seems like no-name people for the main characters, like Rob Stefaniak. Interesting. Yeah, Jessica let Pear. me hear you, bitch. I don't know who any of them are, but but yeah, it has Alice Cooper in it. Though Moby I am shows up in the ground. What Henry the Rollins is in it. That's right, oh. Henry Rollins, who I consider we, he never is died. Jen back here. Movie basically. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. Oh yeah, Dave Foley was it. <laughs> is it though? Oh, is it really? a vampire movie? Is it? Oh. Oh, and Alex likes it. Well, basically, he's he's an immortal that drinks blood in order to. Well, he doesn't need blood Let's to Let's follow Ghostface. He just oh, drinks one. blood as a... He has an impulse to drink blood. Or uh, uh, to eat flesh. He has to... He has to... But he's still an immortal being <laughs> that, due to his... We have a has survivor. to, like... Be stunned, people. Um, oh, my. And it, and it gets into the themes of vampire movies, like the fact that he is an immortal, getting tired of being an immortal, and having a hard time forming relationships with human beings because he's a monster. The Stuff acting like is also just so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a sequel to it called She Never Died. That's is it about the daughter? Season. No, it's about a different character. From what I understand, the plan for that, there was a plan for that series that he was going to make, he was going to make, like, three movies in a series out of it. And the two movies were based on the two different immortals, like, the same issue. Um, uh -huh. and, and they would eventually meet up, and there was, like, a third one that's the bad guy. Kind of thing, like, that's where they were headed with it. So she never died kind of ends on a thing where it feels like it was trying to go somewhere else but it's a different it's kind of a different character in a different everything but the same sort of thing where she's got the same condition she's just a different person but she still like goes around and, um, murdering people because she has to and she's uh, and she's <laughs> she immortal and she wants to <laughs> in a way uh, I've I think you've told us about that previously, but I've never watched it. I do remember watching the Henry Rollins one, though. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just kind of... It, it's, she Never Died isn't quite as good because it doesn't have that kind of weird kind of comedy that Henry Rollins' performance has to it. What he, is going on? I'm what sure. has happened? <laughs> he likes my butt. That's all that's happening. Here? Scott, close your legs. Why are we here? <laughs> no, I mean, why are we in this canyon? <laughs> Oh God! Look at her head. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I just got what, the achievement what, for this one. I'm head banging. <laughs> oh, that made me nauseous. <laughs> more like, like a seizure of some sort. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, Derp Queen one four six. Thank you, Derp Queen one four six. That was very entertaining. Uh, that's how they found me in the basement. <laughs> what, what? There's this guy, like, <laughs> I was healing with a med kit in the basement. I was so confused how they found me in the basement. It had to be that or barbecue. I got the achievement for that map. Nice. I think I have it already. So, is there going to ever be a vampire in Dead by Daylight? There's speculation that that's the next killer. Yeah. Is Oni... Apparently the leaks are not to be trusted right now. Fair. Is Oni kind of the only character we have close to that? Closest to Vampire? I don't know. What's the closest? Now, yes. But oh, I, hold on. Research. Really Give me a second. Pulling up the killer list. Give me a second. It killer. really depends how you define a vampire, though, because, like, technically the, bla the plague is kind of like a vampire also, but it's in a spiritual you know way. You know what movie just kind of popped into my head too? That's like, it's, because it's basically a similar idea to Morbius, but it was a better, a better movie from back when. Remember, there was a Guillermo del Toro movie called Kronos. Oh yeah. No. It's a similar kind of thing where the guy he he's, except it's not so much an experiment, but he's it is about a. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it's like this doctor. He ends up with like some kind of thing that turns him into a vampire like being and then he's it's it's god it's it's been so long since i've seen it that but it just kind of popped into my head i just didn't know if anybody else remembered it it was guillermo de turo so yeah churro the churro guillermo de churro, de churro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Longer, yeah. the churro that's his name now guillermo del churro <laughs> is it not letting you join <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Hooray! Everything's what? broken right now. What in the Yay. shit buckets is happening? Yeah, what kind of a night would down? It Did it go TV down TV already? I mean, it's oh, Wednesday. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright, All right, let's, let's redo it. I'm restarting the game. Don't worry, it takes two seconds. Oh, no! Oh. Uh, there's one... I don't think no one brought up yet. Once bitten, Jim Carrey vampire. Oh movie. yeah, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> We're like, it, yeah, it, ah, that was can't. a thing. It, All it I can funny. say is meh. It's funny because yeah. when I was a younger, when I was a younger kid, when my cousin's baby sent me, the two movies I watched the most of her house was Lost oh, Boys, gross. the Buffy Vampire Slayer film, and then uh, Ace Ventura here and there. And my first yeah. fucking nightmare ever was Ace Ventura as a vampire trying to attack me. And I had no idea <laughs> there was a Jim Carrey vampire film that existed like long before. I didn't discover it until I was in my like early twenties. I'm like, are you serious right now? I had a nightmare of this shit, and now this uh, we'll remember, actual movie. If, if we go more into like an '80s goofy horror comedies, um, you also remember Gina Davis played somebody pretending to be a vampire. Yeah, right? uh, Transylvania six five thousand. Um. God, what's his name? Judge Reinhold. Gina Davis no, and it was Jeff Goldblum. It was, it was Jeff, Jeff Goldblum, Goldblum and Ed Begley Jr. were the main roles. Thank so you, it, thank you. Yep, that's uh, his name. And then it had it had Kramer from Seinfeld in it. Um, it had a Carol Kane in it. Uh, it had <laughs> a lot me, of famous people in it. Tell me that movie what? wouldn't be a perfect like Abbott and Costello type film, Rob. Oh, it was. I think that movie was great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love like it. I love it. also um. It, it's. I think Gina Davis was not all that well known back when she was in. It was. It was very soon before she. It was either soon after or soon before she was what? with no. Goldblum again in The Fly. I was about to say, yeah. like. Well, they, well, they were together in The Fly, weren't they? Like for real? I don't know. 
And then Earth Girls were easy. They were in that movie together too. But I think really? that was like her like early oh. movie. Yeah, I remember that one being cool. Julie Brown. That was something. God damn. Yeah, that movie was <laughs> it was definitely something. But I <laughs> I forgot all about it until my friend's girlfriend has it on DVD. We watched it like a few weekends ago. I'm like, wow, I forgot this movie existed. Yeah, that, that movie was a She's that was a, something that happened. Obsessed <laughs> with Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot that Jeff Goldblum was in that. I'm going to say this, mostly because nobody's watching us right now. I don't understand <laughs> the world's obsession with Jeff Goldblum. I don't either. I feel like I'm missing no something with it. I, I like the movies he's in, but that's... that's about I think it's just it. that he used to be in everything, and it was yeah. so weird. Like, He's in the base of the Body Snatchers randomly, like just a side character. The, seven, the 80s version? 70s version? I don't know. Like 70s. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I really like the fly that he's in, the movie that he's in. It's really fucking good. It's gross, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, True. But, I don't get the, the collective crush that it seems like everybody always has on him. I never understood why everybody was so obsessed yeah. with him. <laughs> Jenny Goldblum? Yeah, the only thing I can <laughs> think of is no that for a certain me. period of time, he was in every single movie that I liked. It was really weird because he was in Transylvania 6 by 1000, The Fly, um, and a bunch of other shit that I watched at the time. Like, like it, oh yeah, Buckaroo Banzai. Uh, I mean, that's he was fair. In Banzai, and he, was in, like, he was just in everything back then, in that one certain spot in like, the 80s. That's that, true. That's fair. It's something that I didn't really experience, so it's not something I really... And it's interesting because yeah. he wasn't, he wasn't, well, he, he didn't, it's not until later, like, post-Jurassic Park that pe that the internet type, not, well, that was before even the internet. Yeah. He went crazy. But, like, when it went into that level of just weird devotion now, that's, that's like a post. It's, it's, well, like, right. that's dude, more, it's, that's it's more based on Independence Day. Thing, I swear. That's more it's based on, be. like, Independence Day and Jurassic Park oh. when he started being in, like, bigger movies as more of, like, a larger yeah. draw in it, but, like. He's got a show now on Disney Plus called The World According to Jeff Goldblum. That could be part of it, too, right now. No, it was no, not. Like dude. That way around. This was like well, no, 15 no, no, no. A, years ago, man. I know, but like yeah. a, the recent surgence of people obsessed with him currently, that it could was, be it. I, it's just been an ongoing other thing way for like 15 years. Yeah, yeah, I think that only exists because he's basically got a cult. Yeah. Okay. Thirsty that, sex slaves. Could be it. Yeah. Thirsty sex slaves. That's that's a sentence I never thought. As I'd opposed hear. to Christopher Lee, who probably deserved to have that <laughs> cult following. He had the satanic or ride. Christopher Dracula. Walken. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher. But like, I don't know. I'm trying to find a way to wrap up this vampires episode. I know that this isn't probably one of our stronger subjects in in the relative horror world, but yeah. It's also a weird subject in the horror world because it's, it's a almost big variety. It's very majority based, like around comedies. Mm. Uh, I don't think I don't majority. I, I don't think so. No. It, it ebbed and flowed through eras. <laughs> that, that's yeah. fair, but I feel like, at least from my experience, all the zombie movies I or not zombies, vampire movies I even know of are usually comedic. That's fair. Like, who picked I RPG? Feel like it's uh, they've hard been, ar they've been around for so long that there's a lot of ways to do <laughs> satire with them, so people love them a lot. But, well, but, I feel like I mean, a they lot still, of They still comedic. do other stuff, too. I mean, it doesn't help that vampires became more of a non-horror creature for a lot of shit, and you started getting things like True That's Blood true. and Twilight and shit like that. Ugh. Oh, man. Um, Let's so pretend those like, don't exist. Sort of like taking all the horror out of vampires altogether. I think. Speaking that... of which, they're uh, remaking an interview with the vampire. I just saw the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot about that. I forgot that. Sorry, Rob. Go ahead. Oh, nothing. <laughs> it it so, just popped in my head when it came, when, I, when you said romancing vampires. I'm like, oh yeah. Well, that, the well, there's, there's a difference between, Cruise, there's right? a difference between yeah. the kind of romance and like like Anne Rice stuff, the sort of dark romance. That stuff makes more sense. But then, like, I, when they started turning it more into like the the stuff where you're it doesn't even have any darkness to it it's just like like i yeah. don't like it when they they took out the badness of being a vampire like the whole idea of being a vampire unless it's like the lost boys where it's that kind of dangerous sort of like lustful excitement for it which is also but it's also leads you to evil that's kind of cool mm -hmm. but like when it's just like 
there's mm -hmm. it's just awesome being a vampire kind of thing like oh yeah I'm... they start going with it's just that's, that's just... yeah they made that vamp being a vampire mass appeal yeah yeah that, that's stupid like being a vampire is supposed to either be corrupting or being or be utterly awful even if you have good guy vampires and stuff like that there's supposed to be like a darkness to it it's... right Speaking of which, too, I'm named after Michael Emerson in the movie of Lost Boys. Oh, what? That's my that's my family's real last name. That I have my dad's last name. That. Yeah, because I, I have my dad's last name, and my actual main last name is Emerson, but I never got to be around it. Oh yeah, I need to do my freaking. What? How did? You, what? What did? You, what happened to you, Rob? You just like act like it exploded, but didn't explode. I don't know what's going. on. That was weird. Uh -oh. And they're coming. Well, they're here. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Shit! Oh, I uh, should not that. have picked this map. Take I'm that. never gonna find this glyph. It's nemesis. Okay. You picked this map. Yep. I did. And it's nemesis. Well, I, I thought Patchak did. No. Oh, hey, it's perfect that it's nemesis. Yeah. Well, nemesis is most decidedly oh, not. Crap, 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 I don't know. Crap. Nemesis is almost <laughs> closer, like close to a vampire as opposed to a zombie. He has Kinda. sentience uh, to an extent. True. Well, have uh, you noticed there's certain vampires? It's kind of a weird difference is that some vampires, they just create other vampires with agency, but other vampires, like all their vampire slaves are basically zombies, but the one vampire is a real They're vampire. thralls, Rob. Huh? They're yeah. thralls. Well, yeah, yeah. Hell but... There's a zombie in front of me. Get me down. No. And yeah, that is a... It's the difference. there's different degrees to it. There's different degrees to it, because then you have, like, John Carpenter's vampires, where they're kind of thralls, but they do have agency. Oops, shit. I'm on the roof. <laughs> hey, that I found the glyph. Fucking terrible. <laughs> and you said you're not going to find it, and you find it? I've done nothing else. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, thanks, Rob. Now we got to run. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I ran right to my dad's. Yep. Oh shit, they're zombies. Yep. Zomboobles. What would a vampire... What would a vampire look like in this game? Like, uh, what? Probably... Nosferatu. Uh, Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. Or like what I'm thinking. Like bat thing. I have a feeling oh, they'd oh, go man, way man. more medieval looking. Like Aryan Empire type shit. Would they go man bat? That'd be so Dude, cool. I would love Man Bat. Yeah. Just, just, just do a deal with DC and make Man Bat. <laughs> Hell yeah. That'd be a terrifying creature. That'd be so awesome. Did you guys ever play Infamous? Speaking of which, it's a side uh, side note or side care. God damn it. Side game in Infamous where you, where you become a vampire. Wait, huh. it's in Infamous? Yeah. I infamous. must be thinking of a different game Isn't then. Infamous, like a superhero game or something? Yeah, in Infamous 2, there's a DLC for a vampire and how he travels. He turns into like a billion bats. And he's like, only doing a short spurt. That, that would, I think, work for this kind of game if they create a vampire type character. I don't know if it's if it's possible, but that just popped in my Maybe. head when we were thinking about how they would run around here and he only just burst of random bats. I think it could have something similar to Oni, where they would be able to detect blood, perhaps, as one of their perks, you know? As long as you're, as long as you're no, Or maybe oh, the ability. Zombie. Almost oh, made it. I found a heal. Man, I do not even know how the fuck to get up to you. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, hey, I figured it out. Nice. I got you. Weird. He's nowhere he's near here. me right now. Someone was coming at me, but um, of course he's like right there. I don't know. I think that's some sort of like maybe not flight, but ability to like dash as a bat could be cool, okay. and like you wouldn't be able to see them very well because they're they'd be a bat. Rob, how the hell did he get over here? I thought he was chasing me. Who? Oh, Somebody just ran right past me. Rob, come back. Wait, hey, Nemesis was right there, dude. Oh shit. No, he, he was chasing he's Scott. Oh, yeah. No, he's got me. Oh, that's no, he's chasing me. Yeah, he was like coming right down the hall. That's fair. All oh, right, let's heal. Yeah, he was chasing me. Oh, yeah. oh, I did not see you, Scott. I just saw myself. Get ready to run. Oh, yeah, I guess he is right there. Shit! Oh, god damn it. But anyway, that was funny uh, to watch. Uh, I don't know. It's 
Well, I, I don't think that I'd be super excited about a vampire character, but I mean, I'd play it, but it's not. I don't know. It just seems like <laughs> vampire is none of our thing. I don't care too much about. Well, there's a lot of the things that. I don't know. Like. Like, there would be no utility to drinking blood. <laughs> uh, Oni has utility to drinking blood. Oh, yeah. True. But, no, I think that there's a lot of issues that vampires present that wouldn't be able to, like. The, the charismatic aspect of vampires has no, yeah. like, unless they could charm you in some way, I don't know, like, which seems completely broken, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, this, is, this is on you, buddy. The immortality <laughs> thing is already a thing with all of the the monsters in this game. So That's it just true. seems like a lot of defining vampire features are kind of moot in a game like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I feel like the bat thing could be cool. Yeah, like, they could just turn into a bat and just zip across the map really, really fast. Yeah, maybe they just couldn't stop themselves. It's just they get a they get a like real Billy. quick peek of everything, but then they end yep. up on the opposite side of the map or some shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Something along those lines. <coughs> is he still chasing me? Yes, he is. Oh, I, was like, I have no idea. And I do think that there could be something like Oni's blood, but although if you do that, then you're taking away some one of the things that makes Oni unique and fun. Yeah. True. Well, that's in terms of, like, making a game as opposed to a vampire character. Also true. Oh, God. Yeah, a vampire character is one of those things that's just... If they, there's too much potential for it to be done wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like good with enough. a werewolf. Most of the fun of a werewolf would be the transformation, but what would be the yeah. point of the transformation in this game? Also, it would be so difficult to balance. I mean, again, you guys are describing Oni. Are we just figuring out that Oni is the combination of a werewolf and a vampire? Yeah. Pretty much. That's, I mean, that's yeah, yeah. accurate. Yeah. No, not, well, not Blight. Damn it. Yeah, Oni, yeah. I don't want to name Blight. No idea. This poor well, we're werewolf, I guess. But... Nemesis is such a baby. Oh, I feel so big guilty. You're such a baby? Oh, so. Like, he's he's a baby nemesis. He doesn't really know what he's doing. I just lost oh, him hey, so quickly. Yeah, anyway. I got him with the D-Strike locker. Well, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I think we've all kind of burnt out a little bit. We were tired this week. <laughs> We were coming yeah, at you a long week. in a couple weeks. That's all right. Uh, we're all not perfect. It's all good. And we will be coming back at you in the next couple weeks with our new episode. And I don't know what the topic no. is yet, but we'll figure it out. Titties. Still going to leave it going. Oh, God. Until this episode, until this game is over. <laughs> oh, God. Bye. Oh, God. He's going to get me. <laughs> Down you go. I deserve that. I deserve all of that. That's true. I saw that. And I'm right next to a hook, so... Oh, he didn't notice the hook that he was... What a dirty dirt. Why, why can't I work on that? What the hell? What I a B-word. Bye-bye. I'm gonna lure him to the other side of the map with blood... Whatever, the beepy bloopy thing after you inject yourself. The... The beepy bloopy thing! <laughs> oh my god, I love it! The, <laughs> the beepy bloopy thing. It's called. I think you killed what? Mike, Scott. You did. <laughs> oh shit, the beepy bloopy thing. That's that's my new thing for now. A beepy bloopy thing. Oh, god. Uh, the. It's not bloodlust. What the fuck is it? <laughs> The killer slash instinct, that. The hash slinging, the. The bat. slash slinging slasher. That'd be a cool, like, killer. We gonna make <laughs> it. Do anything. We gonna survive. Yeah. No, I'm dead. Yo, yeah, I'm on the other bitches. side of the map. No, oh, come here. Wait, 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 Rob. Never mind. Uh, we're gonna have you come this way. We're gonna That's how we end the episode. As we, as I <laughs> rise up into the into the night sky. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye.